Are you ready to nail party? Hello, I'm Tammy Taylor, president of Tammy Taylor Nails. I'm so excited you are joining me today. We are going to have so much fun. Now let's get started. Sanitize your hands and your client's hands with Sanitize, 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 available in peach or gardenia. Before I start removing my gel polish, I'm going to remove my rhinestones using my nippers, just get underneath it. And try to pop it off. That one's on really good. There we go. Be good to have safety glasses on. There we go. And you can save those if you want. Put them in acetone. These are Swarovski's. There we go. And I will be using my safety drill bit to drill off the gel polish. I like to do about a medium, medium to high. I do the tip first. Then I work my way down the nail. And I go almost to the cuticle. It's really easy for me to just file that off when I'm getting the nail ready for my fill. And I'm filing down the cuticle area. I'll just file that part off. And I hold the finger secure, and I'm almost like pulling the drill towards me. Gives me a lot of control. I can go back and forth a little bit as I get towards the nail bed, because I don't want to build up any heat. And the safety carbide drill bit is awesome. Again, just start at the free edge here. Work your way out. Keep a good grip on that finger. Don't want it wobbling. Keep the drill bit moving. Don't let it sit in one spot because you don't want to build up any heat.
After I drill off the gel polish, I'm going to dust off my client's hands with my little plastic manicure brush so I can have a nice clean surface to continue working. Dust off my hands. This is why it's important to have a disposable table towel. These are awesome. So when you get done drilling, you just fold it up and throw it away. I will be filing the nails using my disposable file system. I will be using my clean finish buffer, my 180 grit long lasting zebra, and my 100 grit purple terminator file. So easy. Just peel off the back. Just hold your plastic core. Just stick it on. Super easy. And then when you're all done, you just peel it off and throw it away. So you have a clean file, a brand new file for every client. Ready to file. Before I start filing, I'm going to score the edges of my files. This way when I file around the cuticle, it's nice and smooth. And I will be starting with my 100 grit purple terminator file. I'm going to remove the rest of the gel polish and file the product flush around the cuticle area. This file is awesome. It's like having a little mini drill. You're gonna file the product really flush with the natural nail and thin it down to about 50%. That way when you add new product, it's not gonna get thick. Hold the finger secure. Pull back the skin when you're filing so you don't file the skin. So I always hold the finger pretty secure, pulling back the skin around the cuticle area and around the sides of the nail. Again, getting that product nice and thin around the cuticle. I'm filing it nice and thin right here on top on the nail bed. Nice long stroke.
Now I'm going to etch the nail using my 100 grit purple terminator, same file I used to file. Go with the way the nail grows. Put little scratches in the nail. Proper etching eliminates 75% of lifting. Make sure there's no shiny spots. Push back the cuticle. Again, go with the way the nail grows. You only need to etch the area that's grown out. If there was any lifting, I would have nipped that off with a pair of nippers and then did my filing and then my etching. But there isn't any lifting, which is because I did my etching so well when I did my last fill that I didn't have any lifting. So it's very important that you etch the nail properly. And the 100 grit purple terminator, either in the file or in the little disposable etcher, is the best for etching. Now I'm going to use my pterygium stone to push back the cuticle. Make sure that there's no skin that's grown up on the nail. If there's any skin on the nail, this will cause lifting. Now I'm going to dust off the nails using my plastic manicure brush, and this can be disinfected. I go from cuticle to free edge. This way it gets any dust that might be underneath the cuticle area, gets that out. If you leave any of the dust on the nail, this will cause lifting. Now I will be applying non-lifting nail primer and I will be applying it to all the natural nail area, just where it's grown out. This is to kill the germs on the nail and dry out the oils in the nail. I always have my primer in a primer holder and a little towelette so I can wipe off my brush. I don't want to get too much primer on the nail or to get on the skin and that will burn. So I very sparingly prime only where it grew out. I can do a couple of nails and then go back and get some more. You only need a little bit when you're doing a fill. I wipe off my brush before I put it back into my bottle so I don't contaminate my primer. Be very, very careful when you're applying primer. I will be using my Sculpt Duo, which has a really nice silicone tip, which makes it easy to scoop the Sculpt out of the tube. And my brush is nice and firm and has a really nice shape to it, so it goes around the cuticle really easy. And it also has a travel case. And I will be using my Sculpt Acrylic Gel Hybrid in soft pink. My Shape It Up Odorless Nail Liquid to keep my brush moist. And Stuck On You Base Gel for adhesion. 
Now I'm going to squirt a small amount of Shape It Up nail liquid into my crystal dappen dish. And I only need a little bit. Now I'm going to apply my Stuck On You base gel, and I will be applying this to the natural nail area and any surface on the sculpt nail that I want the sculpt to stick to. There we go. Make sure you get it on there to cover that entire natural nail area. And if you get a little extra, don't worry. It's better to have a little bit more than not enough. And this is what makes your sculpt adhere. Cure 30 seconds in a Mighty Mini LED, 45 seconds in a regular LED, or 2 minutes in a UV. This will be a small bead because I only need to fill it in and slightly overlap the nail. Just scoop it off really easy. And just roll it off your little silicone tip. Moisten your brush. And I don't get my brush really wet. I don't need a lot of liquid. It's only to keep my brush moist. And I pat. Get it nice and flush with that natural nail. Go from side to side, side to side, and then stroke it out. A little bit more liquid. There we go. If you have a little excess, don't worry. Just remove it. This is really easy and really fun. And this product is so durable. Clients that might have had problems with their nails before, they do amazing with Sculpt. And stroke it out. go. Get a small bead. The silicone tip is so easy to work with and easy to clean when you're all done. Just pat it out. Angle your brush down. Get it nice and smooth around that cuticle area. Go from side to side. Stroke it out. Stroke it out. There we go. Cure one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV.
Now I'm going to clean off the nails with Clean It and my towelette. Now I will be filing my nails in five steps using my 180 grit long lasting zebra. My first step is straight out from the nail groove on the left. And I do this on all 10. And by having a system, this is how you increase your speed. And all your nails look exactly the same. And make sure you're looking at the side of the nail when you're doing this. Step number two, straight out from the nail groove on the right. And do this on all 10. So I did step one, all the left sides, step two, all the right sides. Now I'm going to shorten the tip. I hold my drill straight up and down, hold the finger secure. And just start, make a little notch, and then go across. I always shorten after I do my fill. I don't shorten before, because if the nails are a little bit loose from needing a fill in, and you start shortening the nail, they could get a little wobbly, so I do it afterwards. It's really easy. This is step three. Now I thin out the tip, hold my drill at an angle. Thin that tip out, because when you shorten, the tip gets a little bit thick, and it's really easy to just thin that out. This saves you a lot of time, because if you're trying to thin it out from on top, that's a lot more work than thinning it out from the bottom. Shape the tip. Fold the file straight up and down. It's a nice square tip. Step four is the top of the nail in the cuticle area. Down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. Down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. And there's a little road where you have product, natural nail cuticle. Place your file in that little road and file the product flush with the natural nail. Down on the side, across the top, down on the other side, like a horseshoe pattern. Down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. And I use nice long strokes. That way you don't get tired when you're filing. Get it nice and smooth around the cuticle area.
Step number five, turn the nails around from the client's angle and bevel down towards the tip. This is the angle the client's going to be looking at for the next two weeks. You want to make sure it looks beautiful from their angle. You can see everything from this angle. Hold the finger secure. Nice long strokes. A good way to tell if it's all smooth is there's no shiny spots. Like everything is nice and even. See how there's little shiny spots there? Now when I file and I get it nice and even, you're not going to see those anymore. Now I'm going to dust off my nails and drill underneath to clean them out. Dust off my nails. Turn the nails over. You can use your safety barrel. And I also have a safety cone, which is really nice. If you need to get in a little bit more in the corners there. But this barrel is really nice for cleaning it out underneath. If it touches the skin, it doesn't hurt. You can wait till the very end when you're cleaning out from underneath the nails to thin out the tips, or you can do it how I did it. Now I'm going to buff the nails with my clean finish buffer, and this buffer is made out of material so it doesn't leave any grit on the nail. You can use it with water, you can use it with oil, or you can use it dry. Buff the nails using nice long strokes. Get it nice and smooth around the cuticle area and out towards the tip. Down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. Get in that cuticle area out towards the tip. Have the client go wash their hands with antibacterial soft suds and a plastic manicure brush. Now I'm going to apply Flawless Foundation. This promotes adhesion and keeps the gel polish from peeling around the edges. And you only need a little bit. Nice long strokes. You can actually do a few nails at a time. You only need a little bit. Just make sure you get it all the way over to the side. Now you can cap the tip 
but sometimes that can make it look a little bit thick. As long as you have your flawless foundation on there, it's not going to peel away from the tip. Cure 30 seconds in a Mighty Mini LED, 45 seconds in a regular LED, or 2 minutes in a UV. I will be using Summer Opal and It Girl Gel Polish. My first nail will be It Girl. When I do long nails, I do the tip first. Then I go down to the cuticle area. Very lightly cap the tip. You don't want it to get thick. These colors are so pretty. I'm going to start at the free edge here. Then go down to the cuticle area. Nice long strokes. And I always keep my clean it, my little dish with clean it in it, and my brush handy. So if I need to clean up a little bit. Cure one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Now I'm going to apply my second coat. I'm going to put a little chevron. On my nail, super easy.
your one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Now I'm going to apply my second coat of it girl on my chevron. Now I'm going to apply Flawless Finish, a super high gloss non-yellowing top gel. Nice long strokes. Very lightly cap the tip. Again, if you remember, it's easier to cap the tip then apply your long strokes because it evens it out. Sometimes I forget because it's I'm such a creature of habit. Cure 30 seconds in your Mighty Mini LED, 45 seconds in a regular LED, or 2 minutes in a UV. Now I'm going to clean off the nails with Clean It. I will be applying Swarovski Diamonds in a size 8. And this is a really fast, easy way to do it when you're only applying one rhinestone. Use your 100 grit Purple Terminator and rough up the area where you're going to be applying your stone. So there's no shine. This makes it stick really good. Then I'm going to apply tip and repair glue and use my wax tool. Makes it super easy. Just put a little drop. Apply my stone. Let it sit.
Let those dry. As soon as they're dry, we're just going to dust off the dust and they're done. So fast and so easy. Now I'm going to remove my file strips. Just peel them off, super easy. I'll disinfect my cores. Use my disposable towel, fold everything up, and throw it away. So easy. Now I'm going to go wash my hands with peach antibacterial soft sets. Now you have your hot pink summer revamp with It Girl Summer Opal and Swarovski Crystals. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.